is why Yogi Bhajan brought Kundalini Yoga to the West. Because he saw, back in the late 60s, that there was a tremendous appetite for greater awareness. And just like everything in the world that has produced, put everything into the outside, the search for awareness for those, I do hold a bit of a title. I was old enough to go through the 60s, and I was a yogi since birth, so my journey through the 60s didn't have any substance at all. But the majority of human beings that were seeking, and even to this day, that are seeking some change or alteration of awareness and consciousness believe that it's in the mirror that they can achieve it. It's some object, it's some subject, it's some event in the mirror that can give them that. As a matter of fact, we don't know who we are until we are somehow reflected in the mirror acknowledge. We spend our life searching for those mirrors that will acknowledge what we know to be who we are. Not knowing that the greater we search outside ourselves, the less we are producing the reality of who we are from within ourselves. So the reflection, just like the projector of a movie, as it starts to become more and more distorted, the movie becomes less and less recognizable. To the point now, we're at a breaking point. We've been at this breaking point four times previously on this planet where we have advanced technology or the externalization of our existence to such a degree that it was so much more powerful than any connection that we had to consciousness or compassion that we actually destroyed life down to its basics.